We're going to be upgrading an HP desktop. We always recommend that you read your user's guide, your system usage manual to find out where the memory location is going to be and how to gain access to it. In this case, this HP laptop has a couple of screws in here to remove the panel, the side panel to gain access to the memory location. So what you do is pretty much just lift. This is pretty much the inside of the PC. As you can see, there are two memory modules there, and there are two memory sockets that are empty. We're gonna uh, remove the system memory module and install a faster uh, PNY memory modules. We're gonna be doing that by actually removing the memory modules one at a time. You're gonna notice a couple of the memory clips. You're gonna be actually pushing down those two plastic clips, memory socket clips, at each end. One is down, the second one is down, and the memory pretty much is just gonna lift by itself a little bit, and then you can just clean with your fingers. Just always grab the memory modules by the edge, right? We're gonna remove the second memory module, push down one memory clip, one memory socket clip, and then you're gonna gain access again to the second memory and you're just gonna lift. Now you gain access pretty much to the two memory sockets that we're gonna be upgrading with PNY memory. In this case, we're gonna actually be installing one memory module, one PNY memory module at a time. As you can see, you have the green circuit board contacts, the gold contacts, and there's also the notch. So what you're gonna be looking for, you're gonna be matching the notch with that plastic tab right on the memory socket. In this case, this memory module will just go in one way, right? So you match the socket tabs with the memory module cutout. It's gonna be putting one in first, right? And you're gonna be pushing with your finger and you can see that it's snapped into place and you're gonna be pushing with the second finger. Now the memory module is secure. You're gonna be doing the uh, same process with the second memory module because you need to install in pairs. So you're gonna be matching the cutout again with the plastic tap brought on the memory socket. So now that you have the memory in it, you're just gonna make sure that it actually snaps into place just by pushing one in, and then you put the second end in. Now both memory modules are secure.